Static Plate Load Test The Static Plate Load Tester HMP PDG is used in earthworks, soil engineering and road construction. It easily determines the soil bearing capacity and deflection of soils by calculating pressure settling lines and deflection modules EV1 and EV2. During the static plate load test, a circular load plate is loaded and unloaded in stages by means of hydraulic pump. The normal tensions beneath the plate and the respective settlements of each individual loading stage are depicted in a diagram as pressure settling lines. A quick setup and secure standing are guaranteed because of its well thought out construction. Despite the precision, the device is very robust and especially durable due to the use of high grade materials from qualified suppliers. The innovative measuring head guarantees a digital and interference free transmission of force and settlement values to the measuring instrument. The measurement series and pressure settling lines can be printed out and analysed or exported for further processing even immediately on the construction site. Static Plate Load Tester HMP PDG Pro Please note that the HMP PDG is a high precision measuring instrument. Despite its robustness, please handle it with care. The HMP PDG consists of the hydraulic, the measuring frame, the measuring instrument with load and settlement transducer. All parts are properly packed within the two transport boxes and the carrying case. For the measurement, a counterweight with an axle load of at least 5 tonnes is required, for example a roller, excavator or loaded truck. Place the counterweight directly at the measuring point, the mounting height should be at least 65 centimetres. Setting up the hydraulic. Remove the pump with the cylinder and place it on the other wooden box to avoid soilings. Fasten the magnetic holder to the counterweight. With a little sand, the optimal position of the load plate can easily be determined. Position the load plate on the marking, vertically, located centrally beneath the magnetic holder. Place the load cell on the tunnel of the load plate and above it the thrust piece. It protects the load cell against damages. Now put the hydraulics on it. Make sure that the pump and hose do not interfere with further assembly. If necessary, extend the hydraulics with the extension pieces until the magnetic holder. Adjust the load plate exactly vertically beneath the magnetic holder. If necessary, the hydraulic can be slightly extended by pumping in order to stabilise this assembly. Setting up the mechanics. Remove the measuring frame from the transport box and place it carefully on the other box. Mount the traverse and put it on the measuring frame. The magnet should point out to the side, from where you will operate the measuring instrument later on. Mount the rear foot to the measuring frame. Connect the measuring beam with the frame. Mm -hmm. 
Done. Place the measuring frame in front of the counterweight. Now adjust the measuring frame horizontally by adapting the height of the feet. The bubble level should be in the middle. Insert the contact element to the measuring beam. Then adjust the height of the measuring beam by means of the contact element so that it is parallel to the measuring frame. The contact element must exactly meet the notch in the tunnel above the load plate so that it is in the centre of the plate. Fasten the measuring head to the magnet. Insert the dial gauge. The scope of the measuring tip should be approximately 2 cm. Now connect the dial gauge with the measuring head. Connect the load cell. And then the measuring instrument with the measuring head. Measuring process. Switch on the measuring instrument. The user guidance is intuitive. Active functions are displayed in blue. Use the arrow keys to select, confirm with enter. Date, time, language used, plate diameter, etc. can be set under settings. From the memory, details about stored measurements can be retrieved. The memory is initially active after switching on the instrument. Once the GPS signal is found, the measuring button will be activated. Start measuring with Enter. Set the load to zero by confirming the selection. Now increase the load to 0.01 MN per square meter. For this, pump the hydraulic pump until the value is reached. Set the dial gauge to zero by confirming with Enter. The first measuring point, the preload, will be stored. Now follows the gradual loading and unloading of the load plate. The set values of the measuring points for the static plate load test according to DIN 18134 are stored in the measuring instrument and are displayed in the upper line. Slowly increase the loading until the next set value and hold it for about one minute by pushing the pump. As soon as the settlement value remains stable, accept the measured values with Enter. Now again increase the loading gradually until the next set value is reached. If necessary, you can also discard this value in order to get closer to the set value of the load stage by loading or unloading. By confirming with Enter again, the values are finally stored and the next set value will be displayed. Hold and store the relevant values. Increase the loading gradually until the next set value and continue as described above. If the indicated set value gets lower, the unloading starts. Reduce the loading by carefully turning the valve of the hydraulic until the set value is reached. Hold this value for about one minute and store it. Decrease the loading gradually until the next set value is reached. Hold and store the relevant values. After the gradual unloading, the second load starts. Now again increase the loading gradually until the next set value is reached. Hold and store the relevant values. Now again increase the loading gradually until the next set value is reached. Hold and store the relevant values. After storing the last load stage, the result is shown in the display.
By scrolling, you get the curve and GPS data as well as the individual measured data. Evaluation. The results can directly be printed out. The printout comprises the following data. Start of the measurement, end of the measurement, GPS position, the measured data of the initial load, unload and second load, the settlement curves, the EV1 and the EV2 value, as well as their ratio. Of course, also professional A4 test protocols for your clients can be created. The software HMP ProPlat, especially developed by HMP, enables you to store the data within a database with comfortable search and editing capabilities. Transfer the measured data to a USB stick or directly to the PC via cable. For this, select within the memory menu the export of data to USB stick and confirm with Enter. Then read the data from the USB stick into the software. Alternatively, connect the measuring instrument with your PC via USB cable. Select within the memory menu the export of data to the PC. The file with the measured data can now be selected on the PC and read in. Now simply add additional information such as client, about measuring points or weather conditions and store them. Click on the check mark. All measured values and the curve progression of initial load, unload and second load are displayed. With print, the protocol will be created. If you specify target values, their fulfillment is automatically recorded on the protocol.
Trust in decades of experience in the development and the production of test equipment and the trend-setting innovations of our engineers. Qualified repairs, modifications and calibrations are of course carried out in-house. High precision, best quality and optimum service, that is Magdeburger Prüfgerätebau GmbH, HMP. Best quality test equipment, convince yourself.